This is the last one I have to say to you guys. Guys, if your wife has started making your own bread, then you might as well start building a chicken coop. Yep. <laughs> yep. Long. Really? Uh, it'll be 20 years next, next January. Next January will be 20 years. And we first met January, January 21st. 21st. Oh, I thought, I thought you were talking about the location. <laughs> I don't oh yeah, know. we I don't were know. we, I mean, we were at, at the, the mall in, Sherman Oaks Gallery, mm -hmm. but we didn't meet there. Like we we plan on meeting there, so it wasn't like yes. we met there. I don't know, did, do people know that we emailed each other for months? Because I was yes. in Thailand covering the tsunami. Yes. Yep. First, I was in a group, like then email. I, then I separated her out. She, and then he separated me out. Yep, yep, she, then it was one on one. I moved up. She moved up the list. <laughs> what made me move up in the list? I never knew that. What made you go? Hmm. This is someone that I can talk to. You were asking good questions and you seem like you were interested. It was. My thoughts on marriage are about the same. I mean. Good uh, and bad. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. It's no, what are the good? What What are some of the good? I mean, it's all, I, don't, I don't see anything bad about it. I mean, in marriage is great. I think that the good for marriage is you always have a partner. And obviously you wanna make sure you choose the right partner. That's a key. Um, not always everybody does that. Partners do change. Sometimes I get that, but we got married a little bit later, so I think that helped yeah. the situation. Choose the right partner, your best friend. That's the key because you know you're going to be with this person for a long, long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> One of my fears or concerns going in is I would see like married couples at dinner, and it would be just the two of them. They wouldn't be talking to each other. They literally were like. And I'm like, oh my gosh. My fear was kind of growing apart and, and, and not having anything to say to each other because you're with each other all the time. We organically are intrigued with each other each other and life. So I feel like we're always asking questions. Well, huh? We have common interests. We have a lot of common interests, but we also have a few interests that are a little bit different, but they're still connected enough that they're interesting to each other. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I am not an actor, I won't be an actor, I have never been an actor, and I have no desire to be an actor. However, because I was on TV, I understand a lot of what she goes through. And so that kind of, and then she's always intrigued about the world, and that was my world, was learning about what's going on in the world, so we have that crossover, so. Kids do nothing to her, it's exactly the same. What? <laughs> <laughs> The first one, I think, throws a curveball because you got scheduling wise, you're like, whoa, whoa, before I could go get a beer or golf or go to the Middle East when I was doing new, whenever, I could do whatever I wanted to as long as Tamara was cool with it. Mm -hmm. And when you have a kid come in, you're like, uh oh, now I gotta make sure that someone's home with Junior. And at the same time, you gotta think about where you're going because you don't want to affect his future by something happening to you. And then when Araya came along, I think we were more prepared, I think, for the second one. And it's a little easier to me, even numbers, it's easier to divide and conquer. But at the same time, I mean, kids, they're two, as they grow older, they, there's two personalities more in the house now. I think... Yeah, um, all the bad traits are Tamara's. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I would say, Adam spoke on it, having two different personalities being added to the home. You have to realize, not only are these, you know, two little people, but they're gonna have their own wants, their needs, and their own opinions. Especially our two. Yes, and not only that, they're gonna have different passions. And I feel when you have two kids, you have one parent, kind of you divide and conquer, one parent doing things with one child, the other parent doing one thing with the other, and sometimes you could be ships just passing each other in the night and you're like hey what's up haven't seen you all day yeah it's important for the couple to make sure that they stay connected yeah still do things together separately. still do things separately yeah. still die. go on dates yeah. you know give each other that that time because what you don't want to happen is you get used to that yeah and then you lose that you know connection <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm actually really good. She's actually pretty good at riding horses. She can ride a horse. Yeah. I was but like equestrian, like, like well no, you were you were Well Western, English. You were at Western style with me. I did, uh, yeah. but I can do both. You can do English riding? 
I didn't even know that. Yes. I did not know you could wear like a like like proper lady. Yes, it's the way you hold the like rein. proper lady. Oh, and she's a good shot. I am. Well, my dad was a shoot, sniper. Shoot. shoot, shoot, watch out. In the army, so I think it's like just in my blood. I didn't even practice or anything. I just, too, so. He's really good. The kids are, in, the kids are, in, the kids got, got good, good genes and that <laughs> thing, so watch yourself. <laughs> Your secret talent. I'm kind of an open book too. You are an open book. I don't know if it's a talent or it's just like a skill. Adam, <laughs> this is a compliment, okay? Adam can take the suckiest sport-like team, whether it is in soccer or baseball. And I am serious. You can start the the season. You're like, oh gosh. Have y'all heard of that film, Good News Bears? Bad News Bears. Oh, but no, sorry. Bad News Bears. Have you heard of that film, Bad News Bears? You gotta get under the ball. That is Adam. Adam can take... I don't drink beer in the field. I'm no. <laughs> but Adam can take a child who cannot hit or a child who cannot, you know, kick a soccer ball and make a goal. And at the, towards the middle of the season, the kid is hitting, the kid is making goals. You step, I step away and I go do a film when I come back, it's a whole new team. And they're like in the championship. This happens to them like every single time. And it's just, it's amazing. I don't even know how you do that. How do you do that? I don't know. No, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. And the kids love him. They love him so much. It's, he's now Coach Adam. And he's honestly my life coach. He's, he's, you're just amazing. You, you get life like that's that. A, that's a good title to have. Yeah. I'll take that. I just love how he smells. <laughs> <laughs>